We're fresh back from Crick Boat Show, which was another huge success for us this year. Not only did we sell some boats, painting and shop blasting, some I hadn't envisaged and, you know, but people who had been on the stand was really impressed with what we do. They understood the importance of shop blasting and epoxy and the, the lifespan of, of our boats. They sort of went out looking to see which blue water boats were on the second hand market and they've purchased those. So that just shows again, you know, the importance of doing the job properly um, and your resale value, like I've always said. So it really is getting to be quite a nice little community and all in all, Crick was absolutely fantastic for us. So we'd like to thank Waterways World for their effort again. Fantastic show, great entertainment. You know, from a business point of view, we, we, we just couldn't fault it. Today the video is going to be about three different boats mainly, it's older boats again, coming for shop blasting and painting and some other remedial work. One customer's been very lucky, timing's perfect. We've blasted it off and it's exposed quite a lot of pitting. Majority is probably just around about the two mil mark, so on six mil steel, not the end of the world. And it's quite, it's different actually, because it's quite well spread out. Some bits are quite good and some bits, uh, like I say, up to about two mil of pitting. Yeah. Rubbing strips, which you don't see very often, them pitted very well. You know, they're, they're normally pretty good. It's always just quite a soft steel. And I don't know if that's why or not, you know, this is what I say, steel is very peculiar at times. Um, what causes it but again you can see there's quite a lot of pitting just just on the edge of it where the weld is which again you don't see very often don't have all the answers to why all I know is that you know you've got to do the job properly to stop it happening um, so yeah he's been very fortunate we've caught it just at the right time so not major major expense say we've shot blasted all the sides down Obviously above the water line is still pretty much perfect, but under the water line, as you can see, there's quite a lot of pitting in different areas. So yeah, we've shot blasted it and I've put three coats of epoxy on. Specification for this customer was only two coats, but because it was quite bad, extra coat on, um, just to help prolong it even longer um and fill some of those pits up again so you know when the surveyor looks at it you know he's quite happy that it's it's not going to get any worse so yeah i mean all in all it's not too bad and then to justify the cost of the transport and stuff coming here he's also asked us to sand down the top sides we're leaving the colors on but we're going to put a clear coat over the top of it so it will bring out that nice new shiny look um, and build the protection back up again um, without spending an absolute fortune um, and time scale. Um, the customer's literally got on holiday for two weeks, so we've got the boat for two weeks to get as much done as we physically can. In the winter months, that probably wouldn't be long enough to do the job, but as we've got good drying times at the moment in the summer, um, we are pretty confident that two weeks will be enough to get the job done and he'll have pretty much like a nice brand new looking boat. We'll, we'll put some pictures on when it's all finished so you can see that. Obviously it is worth it because you know once it's been here you know you've got depending how much and what we do you know but you should have at least six or seven years protection and after the six or seven years, you know, you haven't got a massive amount of work. You could do that on the side of the marina, sand it down and re-epoxy it with just a brush and a roller. You've just got to ask yourself, um, and when I show you the boat next door again, um, can you afford not to have it done? Every boat, at some point in its life, is going to have to be shot blasted and painted because they're just not lasting. The more and more boats I see with pitting, you know, and, and newer boats, it's staggering, it really is staggering. You know, it, they're not a cheap item to buy. You know, it's a big investment and you know, it's, they're just rotting and corroding away under the waterline and people don't even realise. So, you know, at some point in its life, you will have to get the boat out and do it. So it is so important that you do it probably within the first five or six years. 
otherwise if it gets much worse than this then we're looking at overplating or or what you know pit welding which takes hours and hours um, so it all just going to add to the cost you know this customer has been very lucky like I say he's caught it just in time so it literally was just shot blasting an epoxy um, but let's go and have a look at the boat next door um, and you'll see what happens and what how much work we have to do when it it's not caught in time right so here's the second boat we're going to look at which yeah unfortunately has been left too long underneath was pitted all under the waterline as you can see is pitted at least three to four mil um, again we didn't didn't even need to test it you can visually see it once it's blasted it was 50 50 whether it was worth doing the bow over plating the bow um, but you know the customer felt that you know he, he wanted to have it done so yeah we, we've shot blasted it all so that we've got something clean to weld to there's a few companies that do over plating and stretch jobs but most of them again do not blast so you're expected to weld on top of bitumen paint and and you, you can't do the job properly. If they couldn't afford to have it blasted first, then I wouldn't have done it, I wouldn't have took it on. You've got to have half a chance of welding it properly. So yeah, you can see we've put this uh, bottom plate on. We've left the old floor plate in place, so that gives us a really nice edge to weld to. So we'll weld all the way around the edge first. Uh, as you can see around here, so we've welded pretty much both plates together so they're nicely sealed. Then we'll put our bottom plate onto the side into that nice weld as well, so that'd be nice. And then we'll seal weld that again. Um, and sometimes even two welds into there. Um, so you're always welding onto either a weld or nice new plate, so it's all nice and solid. Um, and it's the only way to seal it all up properly. Um, again, you can see the pitting above the water line is not too bad there. There, it's all fine. I can show you down these sides. So you can see we've, we've put new fresh 6mm steel all on the sides. This is the weld I was talking about. And then when this plate goes on, we'll put a capping weld all the way down there. Uh, where there's joints in the plate, we'll weld downhill in there just to keep the heat off the inside of the boat. This plate we put, put it up against there and welded down there as well. And then if you look further along, you'll see where we put a vertical weld to cap it all off. Here, once the two plates are butted together, we put a vertical weld to literally cap the two plates together. Um, you can see all the finishing welding down there. A lot of the heat in this one is into the rubbing strip so it, it protects and keeps a lot of the heat from the inside again. Um, all sealed across the top. So within five years of the life, you know, you want to take the boat out, have it shot blasted, have, have it done properly to avoid all this work and effort and money. Yes, we make money out of doing it, but you know, I'd rather not have to do this. We'd much, much prefer to uh, just shot blast them and epoxy it. It's much easier work. That's where we're at on this boat. So yeah, it's just be warned that eventually all boats need to be blasted and epoxied. Just to show you that I'm not exaggerating the truth. Um, here we have one of the boats that I was just talking about that has been recently purchased. So this is one we built back in 2008, shot blasted and epoxied at the time. You could see, obviously, we haven't blasted this off because there's no need, the epoxy's good. It did come back to us quite a few years back now and we did reapply the epoxy because, again, the customer was just was happy with us doing it, so they brought it back here, so we did reapply the epoxy. So we know it's all in good condition, really, so we're just going to sand this back again and we're going to reapply the epoxy again once it's all sanded back.
So yeah, as you can see, um, as expected, there's absolutely no sign of any rust, any corrosion, no pitting. That's still bits of the, the, the algae really there. Um, we will sand that a bit more obviously before we recoat. Um, but it's just to show you really that I'm, we're not hiding anything, you know, we've not, not sanded it, not uncovered it. Um, that will sand down like that, as you can see as well, as, well when you're sanding it, it's really rock hard. Um, and because of that shot blast profile, it's literally stuck to that steel. By the time we've abraded it, we've probably a 180 grit, maybe even 120 to get rid of the, the, the algae and then just smooth it off with a 180. And then again, we'll put another two to three coats of epoxy over it, which is going to give it another, like I say, seven or eight years. But as you can see, every time it comes back, that's all you need to do is sand it back and then reapply more epoxy. And you're just constantly building the layers of epoxy up. So corrosion never starts. Um, we have had customers <laughs> who think it's cheaper and easier that rather than sanding it down and putting epoxy on. They just coat over the top of the epoxy with a, a, a bitumen paint, um, which is fine. It does it, but you've ruined that system. You can't keep then building it back up. All you can ever put over the top then is, is bitumen. So if you do buy one of our boats and it's got the epoxy system on it, just give us a call before you do any maintenance and we'll run through it. Um, but it really isn't a good, good way to do it with bitumen. The bitumen just sits on the top. The bitumen's not doing anything really other than just making it look a bit prettier. But that's only short lived. That might last 18 months if you're lucky. And then all you can do is more bitumen, more bitumen. But as you can see this way, you're constantly building up the layers of epoxy. So, you know, there's probably, if I was to measure this now, I should imagine there's probably still four, five, maybe even 600 microns of epoxy over the years when they've kept doing it. I think it's probably been done two, three times in the 16 years. So my recommendation is don't use a two pack unless you shot blast. So that, you know, hopefully you don't keep wasting your money. Eventually you'll have to have it done properly or the boat will be scrapped. Um, so give us a call and get booked in. One of the things that the surveyor picked up on before the guy was uh, purchasing it, he wasn't quite happy underneath the base plate. Um, but like I say, it is 16 years old. Been asked so many times, is it worth doing under the base plate? And to be fair, we, we, t we have done some, you know, it is quite expensive. If we get underneath and I'll show you some of the, what we've found once it was blasted. And it starts at 10 mil base plate one to two mil of pitting so you know you've still got eight mil this isn't going to be a problem until it gets down to sort of four or five mil so you know that's another 20 odd years away is it a problem isn't it a problem you know that's that's 35 36 years but you know the customer was right he said well why it's there he'd rather get it done like i say we haven't done it to sa 2.5 or gone you know it's not a nice job to be under there blasting away so we have just done quite a um, a mild uh, shot blast profile just to clean it. The paint will still stick reasonably well. Like I say, you don't get a lot of oxygen under the boat, so it doesn't corrode like the sides. Like I say, in 16 years, you know, there's some pit in. There's not a massive amount, but there is some. What we've done, I feel, is, is more than adequate. There's, there's quite a few scratches, um, which again, if you had uh, epoxied it in the first place would have now been scratched off and corrosion would have started there anyway. Um, so doing it this way is probably quite a good way uh, because now all these scratches and stuff are going to be filled with epoxy and the, the, the higher bits of paint and that will probably protect those scratches. But on the whole it really isn't that bad. They hadn't really scraped anything. I don't know what the surveyor thought he had seen to, to flag it up as bad as he did. I say he hadn't really scraped much off, so until you blast it, it's very hard to know. But there's nothing here that would really concern me. If I was looking at this and wondering should I buy it or shouldn't I, you know, I wouldn't think twice about it.